Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm wearing false nails. I am very under the weather. You can probably hear my croaky voice, but I really wanted to get a video recorded. I wanted to do this video, so I thought put on some nails, have a bit of a face wine, and just get it out. So today's video is going to be a festival inspired video. Now I know Coachella happened a couple of weeks ago, but this is the festival time. The weather is getting better, uh, concerts and gigs are starting up now, outdoor events are happening, and I thought that I would try this really fun makeup stuff. So that's why the nails are kind of relevant, but I like wearing them. I took a lot of inspiration from people on Instagram, and I kind of saw some looks, got inspiration, tweaked some stuff, added stuff, changed colors, and all that kind of good stuff. So I'm just going to kind of wing it a little bit. And I think I'm going to get started on the eyeshadow. Now you can already see that I have my eyebrows, which are, I've done them extra big because I think at a concert or something you want juicy eyebrows. I've done my base, I've done my primer, I've done my contouring, bronzing, and a bare of blush. I just can't stop being like a nail. So I'm going to go straight into eyes. Now the look for eyes that I'm going to do is a really, really warm, blown out eye and a blue highlight in the corner so let's get started so before we get started why don't you hit that subscribe button and you can see more videos and you'll get notified when they come out every single tuesday i'm really really trying to keep up with that okay thanks okay thanks. let's get into it so for this look i'm going to be using these three palettes it's the Venus 2, the Venus 1, and the Masquerade palette by Julia's Place. So there isn't a transition color light enough with any of those palettes. So I'm going to use my Morphe 350 beat up, beat up palette. But oh, I love it. So I'm just going to take a really light color like this guy right here. And just start with the transition. You don't have to be tidy with this. This is not a very particularly, you know, sharp look. So, so I'm just going to go with that transition pretty much right up until under my brow. I'm going to take another fluffy brush, slightly smaller, and I'm going to take this brown colour here called Creation from the Lime Crime Venus One palette. They're so pigmented and I barely touch it. So I'm just going to go a bit lower with that. This is going to be another colour I'm just going to build up for the smokiness. You see there? There we go. You want to get it graduated. Oh. That same color, and I'm gonna take this blank canvas brush. I don't know what number it is, but it's slightly smaller and more tapered, and I'm gonna pack it on and really warm up that eye. Everywhere. I'm just going to keep it that same brush and I'm going to use this darker colour here called Icon. And I'm just going to really concentrate that on the corners. I'm just going to take another blending brush and that colour creation, that brown one on top, and run that under my eye line here. smoky eyes I like to bring it down a lot and diffuse it so I'm just gonna take this red color in the corner called muse and just kind of put it really close to my lash line just to introduce another color in here the color is gorgeous I'm gonna maybe take a bit more of that pink and bring it up Ooh, I like that red. So I'm just going to take a little skinny brush. So this is the Morphe R41. And I'm going to take that baby blue called Filter from the Lime Crime 2 palette. So it's a little bit wet as well, which is going to help for it to stick on. So I'm going to take it and put it on the inner corner. Ow! And brown 
browns complement each other so beautifully. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can do the inner corner with a green or a yellow or any type of color or even just like a, a white if you're not feeling this. Maybe if you had like brown or green eyes, I think like a purple would be gorgeous. So to finish off the lid, I'm just going to go with this orange color called Jam. What a cute name. I'm just taking this little Morphe M560 and the color Jam. And I'm just going to put it on my lid just to cover that white, those white bits you see there. There you go. Deepen up that blue and give it more dimension. I'm going to go into this palette here and use a mixture of these two colors. So it's the Dahlia is the darker one and Zula is the light one. So just go back to your blue brush and take a mixture of those two. Beautiful. So next up I'm going to line my eyes and I'm going to go on my NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner. <laughs> And I'm just going to do a plain black liquid line because after this we're going to decorate the face. Now again you can do your eyeliner in any colour you want but I'm just going to stick with black. Oh. with the Anastasia Glow Kit and I'm going to take that colour in summer and just a little brush. Give me a lovely little glow. Okay, so next off I'm going to go in with my NYX pencil in Milk to do some of my uh, landmarks. So one of the things I really liked was dots, so I'm going to start with a couple above my brow. I'm going to do it on the same side, but I'm going to bring it in from here. For this look I'm gonna do a stripe of color right across the middle of my face so I'm gonna use that color muse and I'm gonna go right across so I'm just gonna take that little old brush whatever brush you have it's fine and start off with a rough blueprint okay that's too big of a brush I'm gonna start off smaller so I'm gonna take this Morphe M515 tiny miny brush No going back now, huh? And do your strike. So I'm going to take my Huda Beauty in Venus and just do my lips normally. Okay, so while this lip is drying, I'm going to put on falsies. So I have these big mamas that I'm going to put on. I'm just going to pop these lashes on. Okay, so once you have the biggest eyelashes on that you could fit, let's just blend them. I know, I hear you ask. Where is the glitter? So I'm going to be using this NYX Silver Iridescent glitter and a little brush that I just wet. Because I think that may work a bit better. Let's try. Oh yeah. Did you see that? Yeah. 
<laughs> now for the last couple of steps, I'm gonna do the same thing everyone else is doing. I'm gonna draw a line on my bottom lip. So I'm just gonna do that line and continue down my chin. This is my final look. curly hair which I think is what you're gonna have on a festival so I just threw it up into like a little half bun um, kind of teased my hair a little bit made it extra messy and floofy and I'm wearing a, and I'm wearing a Led Zeppelin t-shirt so I can imagine this with denim shorts and some boots or something this is a very fun look for me to create I really really enjoyed it you can do stuff without like certain elements obviously uh, or you could just do the eyes, or you could do like no eyes and just the dots or stripes or something, or you could just do whatever you want. Yeah, so I'd like to thank you for joining me in creating this look. I really, really enjoyed it. It allowed me to be super creative, but also to take inspiration from some people on Instagram, which I definitely have. <clears throat> um, hopefully, you have a great time if you go to a festival this year. One thing I said before, one thing I didn't say before I started this is obviously underneath all this makeup I have sunscreen. Be super careful because the sun is out, protect your skin. Protect yourself and be safe at any festival that you're at. You know, be careful on what you're doing and just have fun but be safe about it, okay? Uh, I think that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for joining me. This hair maybe is too crazy. Okay, thank you so much for joining me. And don't forget to subscribe on your way out, please. That'll be really fun. Okay, thanks. Bye. 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 Bye.